energy forecast for Monday, June 17th. Okay, so we are going to see the moon in Libra energy go void, of course, at 2.06 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Scorpio energy at 2.38 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time. Now, the shift from Libra energy to Scorpio energy is always a, let's call it transit, that most people want to resist and ignore because the Scorpio energy really puts us in a state of change and transformation, which most people pray for, but then when opportunity knocks to change and transform, we pretend that we don't hear the knocking. Especially being in Gemini season, nearing the end of Gemini energy, we are leaning towards one path, one direction, one option, one choice point, one decision over the other. But the change, the transformation that has to happen in our inner realm between our heart and our head has to happen first before we're able to engage the physical body to take action to make moves to align with the vision the goal the dream that we're now leaning towards so this is going to be a couple of days of bumpy energies especially as we watch venus and mercury move out of the gemini energy here today again squaring off with neptune in the final degrees of pisces energy before shifting into cancer energy there is an astral forecast out for this energetic event there is a well there's the gemini season e-guide that will kind of encapsulate these last two astro shifts before we dive into cancer season if you want to take a listen to your June Zodiac forecast to understand where this energy shift is going to be manifesting in your life, definitely go ahead and do that. And listen to the Ascension forecast for this week where I go into depth and detail on what Monday specifically is going to mean for us. It is the banger of the week, if you will besides moving into the solstice of course but this is setting us up for the change for the transformation for the transition into a new timeline into new soul contracts into a new reality so with all of that being said there are 14 different aspects here today nine of them are going to involve the moon the moon while still in libra and energy still focused on achieving peace and harmony and balance not only within ourselves but within our relationship dynamics the moon is going to be making a positive interaction with jupiter the planet of growth expansion beliefs abundance and blessings in this gemini energy that of course has us illuminated to two very different choice points especially where our emotions are concerned in relation to some of the relationships relationship dynamics that have popped off as of recent and where it is that we're not feeling so safe, so secure, so happy, go lucky with some of the situations and circumstances that we're currently realizing that we're very much in. This is a positive interaction, so it's definitely going to tip the scales in the favor of doing what needs to be done in order to grow, in order to change, in order to transform. The moon then goes ahead and trines beautiful interaction with Mercury, again, nearing the final degrees of his rulership here in the Gemini energy. Our heart space, the moon, our head space, Mercury, they're working together in order to illuminate what is right for us. Now, don't be fooled. There is a choice point that is better for other people in relationship to our own wants, needs, and desires. But this particular interaction is going to support the choice, the path, the direction that is best for us, for our growth, for our healing, for our wants, needs, and desires, and reaching our soul's potential. Now, this particular interaction can also trigger and activate an open line of communication in relationship dynamics for us to be very, very clear with the boundaries that we need other people to respect and honor in order for us to continue to stay in the same kind of role or relationship that many of us are contemplating backing away from. There is a heartfelt warming type of energy coming through here, but again, it's about boundaries, standing very carefully, very confidently in our own power, being very clear on what it is that we will or will not continue to tolerate. 
This is the point in time that the moon goes void, of course. And when the moon is void, things are shaky, things are unstable, things are uncertain. And because we're still in this Libra energy, we're hella indecisive. 2.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she dives into the Cancer energy. Again, listen to the astral forecast, listen to your zodiac forecast, get out your guide. This is going to be a major shift in our heart space. At 2.22 a.m., so just two moments later, we have the moon still in this Libra energy, but void, making a very tough interaction with Neptune in his place of power in this Pisces energy. This is going to bring about the confusion. The power energy that we were standing in, that is gone now. Now we're second guessing ourselves. Now we're backpedaling. Now we are actually contemplating taking a step back and dimming our own damn light in order to make other people feel better about themselves and of course we are not doing that this is the year of eight we do have to stand in our power we do have to really get to know thyself and honor thyself and of course giving our power away to other people is not doing the things that we need to be doing so this confusion this overstimulation of emotion definitely pushing us all into the feels the moon moves into the scorpio energy at 2 38 a.m eastern standard time Two moments into this particular Scorpio energy, the moon and Scorpio, then going to trine, beautiful interaction with Venus, fresh in this Cancer energy. A trine happens when we're dealing with like-minded elements, the moon in a water energy, Venus in a water energy. What does water do? Well, first of all, it cleanses us from the overstimulation, the funkiness, the negativity, the pain, the trauma. It purifies us to get down to the nitty gritty of what is actually going on in our emotional realm. And it heals us. It transforms us. It empowers us to get in touch with our most basic needs. This is going to be, again, an intensity, a wave of emotion, if you will, that many of us are going to want to resist, that we shouldn't resist, because this is how the inner realm is going to change and transform into the vibration and frequency needed in order for us to take action, make moves in the physical realm. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, in the final degrees of Gemini energy is going to get into the boxing ring and square off with Neptune in the final degrees of Pisces energy. This is what I talked about in the Ascension forecast. This is essentially confusion, delusion, taking over our mental plane. We're not seeing things clearly. We're overwhelmed with emotion. We're overwhelmed with confusion. We can't think clearly about the choices that we need to make in the state of being. 5.07 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mercury moves into Cancer energy. Listen to the forecast, listen to your zodiac forecast, bust out your guide. This again is going to be a major shift in the way that we're seeing our lives, seeing our options, seeing what it is that we've chosen. And now, feeling our way through what it is that we've been thinking our way through while we've been in this Gemini energy. The moon in Scorpio energy going to get into the boxing ring, square off with Pluto, who happens to rule over the Scorpio energy. Pluto being the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy, we are dealing with the internalized realm of the power struggle that we're currently dealing with. Do we stay or do we go? Do we die or do we grow? Do we choose to do the same old, same old, or are we choosing new? Are we allowing the ego self to stay in power? Are we granting the higher self that particular power and control because the Scorpio energy is very intense and does illuminate the darker parts of self we are going to have a very harsh awakening to where it is that the division within oneself is alive and well where it is that the power struggles are continuing and what it is that we need to do to rise up to rise above to stand in our power to stand in our control and actually get a grip on our emotions, on our thoughts, and even more so, our patterns of behavior. Mercury then comes up to, bumps into, teams up with, conjuncts Venus. 
Our heart and our head walked into cancer energy together. Now they're conjuncting. Now they're teaming up. There's an alignment here. We're getting to the root core of the problem, which side note in cancer energy, we're dealing with some inner child wounds. This particular revelation is going to reveal why we are still continuing to tolerate and put up with certain patterns and behaviors in our relationship dynamics. Again, spoiler alert, we're sitting in trauma wounds. Mercury, Venus, working together, illuminating new wants, new needs, new desires, illuminating where it is that we have to nurture ourselves back to a place of emotional safety and security. This is definitely going to trigger our heart space, trigger our head space. Again, listen to the Ascension forecast for the reasoning of why we're going to experience certain discomforts in our physical body. This is definitely going to be a trigger and activation of the head space, of the heart space, to close the door on the division that we've been operating in and unify, merge with oneself in order to create a new foundation for us to be operating from. The moon in Scorpio, then going to make an awkward interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma in Pisces energy. This is the harsh reality check. This is us feeling like we are being kind of, you know, put on pause, so to speak, in order for us to realize what it is that we have to deconstruct, what we have to disassemble, what we have to demolish in our lives in order to have the space to build something better in the place of the things that are no longer encouraging and supporting our happiness, our stability, our growth. The moon in Scorpio then goes ahead and makes a very tough interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. This is, again, realizing the different choice points, the different options, the different avenues that we have available for us to walk at this particular point and realizing where, emotionally speaking, we don't feel well-equipped or well-prepared to take the action that is needed to either break away from the path in which we've been walking or double down and start walking a new path. The moon then makes a positive interaction with Neptune in the final degrees of this Pisces energy. This is water on water action again. So again, we're getting cleansed. We're getting purified. We're getting healed. We're getting an opportunity, emotionally and intuitively speaking, to remind ourselves who it is that we are, what it is that we want, what it is that we deserve. The moon is then going to sit across from, directly oppose Mars, who happens to be the co-ruler of the Scorpio energy. Mars is in Taurus energy. Scorpio, Taurus, they sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. What we put an ending to, what we put a death to, what we close the door on emotionally moon and Scorpio, we're able to actively pursue a brand new path of building and creating something better in the place of the things that we're currently walking away from. Mars and Taurus. Taurus energy needs us to build up our self-confidence, to build up our self-worth, and then tap into that warrior spirit that Mars lends us in order to rebuild, recreate, restructure our physical realms to actually look like the realm and reality that we've already conjured up in our mind's eye. The last thing that we have going on here today is Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, now in this Cancer energy, making a very difficult interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in the Aquarius energy, highlighting the power struggle within. Mercury now in Cancer energy, blending our intellect with our intuition in order to see things from a different set of eyes. Logically and practically speaking, we have a different viewpoint, a different, let's call it, idea to resolve said issues versus the way that we're feeling. Again, cancer energy attached to the past, attached to wanting to keep things the same, attached to romanticizing the past so freaking deeply that we actually delude ourselves into thinking that we're living a circumstance that is much better than the circumstance that we're actually living. Pluto is here to try and change our minds. Pluto is here to transform our minds into something more powerful. This is going to reveal hidden details, maybe even trigger conversations that need to be had that will reveal a bigger, broader perspective, really influencing the path, the direction, the decisions, the choices that we were set on making. 
So please know that tensions are due to arise because again, now we're getting sucked into the solstice portal where we get to lock in the path, the timeline, the soul contracts that we are going to be dealing with from now until the fall. Definitely triggering a lot of negativity, a lot of fear, a lot of, I'm gonna call it insecurities that we feel like we're losing something. Therefore feeling like we need to fight for something that technically speaking does not belong to us and is not a part of this new karmic chapter of this new timeline. We are going to do the cha-cha-cha. We are going to have to allow the water energy crash upon us in order for us to get real and raw and vulnerable with ourselves. What it is that we actually want, what we actually need, what we actually desire. Music